Yeah, folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome, welcome, welcome to Out of This World Wednesday. But first, what we have to address is the fact that uh, next week, Kerbal's going to be on Monday. Next week, Kerbal Moondays returns. And instead, Wednesday, we'll go back to, well, it's sort of World War Wednesdays, but it's going to be uh, Galactic Civilization 4. Galactic Civilization 4 uh, gets released on Tuesday, I believe. Uh, so Wednesday, we'll be streaming Galaxy of Four. Um, and Kerbal will move to Monday because we are done with uh, Football Manager, at least for now. So Monday's freed up. So we're going to do a little bit of a shuffle. I'll try to remind people as often as I can today uh, that things are going to be different next week. Hopefully, not too many people miss out on things. Da da da. Galaxy of Four never even heard. Yeah. Been playing. A lot of people have been playing the, um, the beta, including myself and. Uh, it's pretty swell. Very excited for it. Um, started recording some stuff for a Let's Play for it as well, which will be coming out. Um, so the YouTube content will come out for it on Tuesday. That's when the embargo lifts at release day. Uh, and then on Wednesday, we'll, we'll streamify some of it. So, but yeah, Moon Days is back. Very excited for that. Um, for now, though, we got a lot of work today because this is going to be a mission that ain't going to be easy. Hopefully, we've got enough parts to make this happen. We've got a mission that I think we, we were looking at last week to build an outpost on Minmus. Now, maybe things got shuffled around. This is not a base in orbit around Minmus. This is actually an outpost on the ground for Minmus. Which adds an extra degree of difficulty because we got to land this sucker. On the other hand, it might be more useful because if it was a... Oh, hey, thanks for the bits for evil. Because if we... um. Uh, yeah, we're going to be doing content for Surviving Mars as well. It's going to be sponsored content. Not that I have a problem with that, because I love Surviving Mars a lot. Yeah, we got monorails for Surviving Mars. Anyway, we're going to land this stupid thing on Minmus. Uh, we got the exact same mission for uh, the moon as well. I'm going to do Minmus first because it's much easier to land on Minmus with its far reduced gravity. It actually kind of is awkward to build rovers on Minmus though, because um, the low gravity tends to make wheeled things very, very floppily and weirdly. But we're we're going to try it. Worst case scenario, it's not going to be as mobile as we hoped. Uh, but then we can take the design probably to the moon. So uh, that's going to be the plan. We have to have it uh, support five Kerbals, which just means room for five Kerbals. It has to actually have two pilots on it to complete the mission. Um, we might send a scientist as well. In fact, let me get back to you on that. Let me get back to you on that. Huh. Because there is a thing. I don't think we have it yet. Um, there is a science lab that you can get. I think it's under the science category once you unlock it. Oh, no, we do have the mobile processing lab. Which acts as a science multiplier. Oh, you know what? I'm not wearing my Kerbal hat. Hold on. The science lab acts as a science multiplier. Because what it does is it takes the experiments, crunches them over time, and produces new science from it. The speed at which it does it is based on the level of the scientist inside. And you want them to be fairly high level. Now we could arrange some sort of experience generating trip for our scientists. Uh, one of the easiest ways to do that um, is leave the sphere of influence of Kerbin for a second. Technically be in orbit around the sun. for just a split second. You just leave the sphere of influence, turn around, burn towards Kerbin a bit to come back in and do something like that. That could be interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 uh, uh, Untrusted. I saw your message earlier um, and I pulled up the, uh, the Steam tab for it. Mm -hmm. We were talking about hopping biomes as well, which this would be a way to do this. Oh, and uh, shout out to Esoteric Fish. Hopefully you're in chat uh, for the uh, the reminder about this awesome Petra flag that uh, that Esoteric made for us a while ago. It is the Planetary Exploration Tracking and Reconnaissance Agency is what we are, the Petra Agency. So I went ahead and updated our flag, which is excellent. Mm -hmm. Classic flag instead of space queue. Wait, did, this, did you send? Oh, I didn't realize there's two links in the, the thing from earlier. That does look really sexy, actually. Hang on, I'm gonna save uh, 
save that in the folder as well, like that. And then what we could do is we could um, we could have it as a mission flag for different things as well. So, yeah, so we sort of have to figure this thing out. Now, let's figure out the minimum. Um, the easiest way to do it, so to have room for five Kerbals, is to probably just grab the Hitchhiker module. If I go to here, this filter, and go Passengers, the Hitchhiker module adds a crew capacity of four. So, you know, we can we can do this. So this would actually have a total capacity of six over here, but it's not terribly pretty. Um, Because the Mark One cabin has a crew capacity of two. Now, if we use the if we use the Mark One capsule, this, and then the science lab. Although the science lab is quite big, right? Yeah, it's really big. What's the capacity of the science lab? Two. If I had the Mark Three command module unlocked. That would fit three Kerbals, plus this. Maybe? What else do we have for manned modules? We have the Mark II lander cam. Which has a crew capacity of two. And it's the same size as that. Now this only brings us to four as is. So this would be five. Now this doesn't do anything by itself, right? Is there a fuel tank with this shape or is that coming from mods that I used to use? Yeah, probably from mods. Does the lawn chair count as space? I'm not sure if it does. Now, the other thing is this lander can doesn't have the connected living space thing on the bottom. So unless we tweak the settings, we can't actually transfer one to the other, which is annoying. That That is the Mark I over here. Yeah, no, that was that was intentional in this case. Because this brings us to an exact five. It, it But it does look awkward. I wonder if they can use either one of these hatches. I'm sure they can use either one to enter. I just wonder which one counts for the top in terms of, well, what we could do is we could assemble this in the um, ooh, the other assembly one for flight. Whiskey and chocolate. Oh, Halco, thank you. A study has just been published in the Kirbyverse of Science that Minmus is actually made of mint flavored licorice. What? The Kerbin Space Farce has decided to investigate this claim. I think that's too controversial for the channel. Too controversial. Will any part of this be coming back? I don't think any of this will be coming back. Although one of the things that would be good is we will have to plan for like some sort of resupply or restock kind of thing. Yeah, I don't, I just don't know what I want the base shape to be. There's another, um, there's another command copula that I think would look nice that we just don't have yet. Let's, um, okay, let's leave for a second. Uh, don't save. These extra command modules, that's crew capacity of one. It looks nice though. Mark one, three command pod. There we go. See, here's the Mark one, three command pod. If we grab this, oh, I don't have enough science. Seriously? Cause that would look perfect on the top of all this. Oh, that's annoying. I think I spent it on, like, unlocking advanced operation. I mean, we could just do something else for a little bit of science first. Plan to the North Pole time. I mean, we could just do another ran random Minmus landing or moon landing in a different biome just to get science. Yeah, because you only need, like, 15. Tempted to just cheat in. Just to save us some time. Designing a functional plane is going to take us a while. 
but we could fly over a few extra biomes. Cheat. Here, we'll just cheat in the points. We can always remove it later. Um, science. Book. Book. There we go. We just needed 160 points. We can remove it later. We're just taking a science loan out is all that's happening. Okay. In the interest of time for the stream. Boom. Yeah, we're just borrowing science from the future. We have uh, we have the temporal anomaly here on the on the planet. So now, oh no, not this. Well, was it that one? Would that also work? Actually, it is the right size, but that only fits one person, right? It looks kind of nice though. But I think if we do this. And then attach the mobile processing lab like that. I think that would look quite cool. And then, all right, let's, um... I have the rotator. So I want these. Now, we can use tweak scale to embiggen this and make it more useful. Symmetry on, radial symmetry. Like that. And just like double it in size. Oh my God! You're right, we do have someone parked on frickin' Minmus. With a bunch of frickin' science! I forgot how we ended the last stream! <laughs> it's not a rescue mission, it's just a mission we never completed. I forgot that's where we left things. I was so excited about the new, the new thing we we're gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> we totally have tons of science waiting for us. Oh, great. Yeah, we were going to biohop. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, wow. We're going to have so much science. I completely forgot about this. Look at this. Whoop. Speaking of hopping, a little bit of bounce there as the physics work out. Yeah, we've got uh, Zixki and uh, Tokplatos are just chilling here after landing. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, we just landed, and we had already gone over time. We're like, okay, we're going to have to stop it here. Oh, my God. We would have forgotten these guys, and they would have eventually just starved to death. How crazy would that have been? Oh, look at this. That's good. I love this. I forgot how sexy this lander was, too, with our little, like, internal clipping of parts here. Looks so good. Let's get a crew report. min -miss Greater Flats. Okay. Temperature scan. Mystery goo observation. You observe the goo. Excellent. Oh, see, look how much science we're getting here. And that's before we hop. Material study. I was blinded by science. Keep that. Okay, let's get out. You know what? We'll start with uh, we'll start with the scientist. Excellent. I can't really climb down, so we'll just do this and. Fall gently to the surface, and there we go. EVA report. Excellent. Feel a bit like a superhero when you jump in the low gravity. Yeah, we can, uh... Jump! Woohoo! That is some height. Oh, I, I actually uh, rocketed the wrong direction. <laughs> I pushed us further down rather than up. So for sample, we get that for 150 science. Dun, do, 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 do. We'll travel a safe distance from the lander and plant a flag. I don't know if there are rocks you can collect here. Probably there are. There's a little, there's a little black blip right over there. I'm like moving the view. It's not, it's not dirt on my, my screen. No, I'm wondering if that's a rock way over there. Let's plant a flag. But where is the greatest flat?
Bam. Woohoo! Let's go see if that's rock over there. That's probably a different biome too, though. We could hop the entire ship there for science. Uh, landing on a slope's pretty sketchy. But maybe we can land right up there? Early versions go from orbit to the surface and back with the jetpack, yeah. Now the jetpacks don't have infinite fuel. I think they used to. Do, 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 do. It's gonna come over here and... Nope, not the nose cone. Collect data, restore. Oh, oh god, I'm gonna knock over the thing. I didn't realize I was bumping my head against it. Whee! Thump. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay! RCS on. Nope. How come the R is not working? There it is. <laughs> okay, let's stop ragdolling. Come on. I got a, a, a minimus. You don't walk. We rock it. There we go. We're gonna kill this guy, this Kerbal. And restore, and we'll take and take. Take all the data. And let go and RCS up. Up. And grab. Okay, let's just board. Yeah, interstellar travel for new mer version is going to be awesome. Okay. Before I misclick, I'm going to quick save. So my goal is going to be to try to land over there. Hope it's a different biome. And also hope there's a couple of pebbles there for us to grab. Let's find out. So, we are going to oops, turn on SAS, throttle up, how far this gets us. Let's level out. It'll make it easier. There's the plan to come home after this. Um, the plan is to come home after this. I'm not sure what you mean. Gentle, gentle. Yeah, there's definitely some rocks down there. Okay, it's still telling me greater flats, but I'm assuming it's going to turn to slopes or lowlands. There we go. So yeah, we'll try to land right over there if we can. Gentle, gentle. There's our shadow. Gonna be patient here. Feels like a physics warp if I was feeling impatient, but I definitely don't want to add more speed. There's no need for us to do that. Killer horizontal speed. Delta V's fine, good. Okay. All right, let's just face straight up. Because we're coming down. There you go, you can see our retrograde marker. Right at the top of the nav wall, so we're definitely going straight up and down. Let's hope this is a flat enough spot. Fingers crossed there. 30 seconds to hit. We're going to attempt to kill the Kraken in KSP2. Well, 
We'll see if that works. What they should just do is actually have an actual Kraken that you can encounter. And adjust the damper legs and the uphill legs to stay more level. That's a good point. Exactly a suicide burn, but erring on the side of caution, which I know is very unkerbal like. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. All right, woohoo! Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't flip when we uh, exit this, because that'll be super awkward. But it seems okay. It's got a crew report here. Excellent. Temperature, good. Atmospheric scan, good. The goo in the material study. Because we could have just walked here for like the surface sample and the EVA report and things, but I was hoping to get everything. Okay. Um, let's have, uh, let's have Zix Zixki go out now, so they can also get their EVA experience. They're not going to be able to reset the experiment, but that's alright. Detach, activate the jetpack, and then they can plant their own flag. Zixki, that's what I said, Zixki. Woo! got to be careful in these slopes. It's really easy to start ragdolling it down. And you have no control of your Kerbal until the ragdolling stops. EVA report. Surface sample. Let's go over to... How come it's not jetpacking? Okay. I guess it doesn't jetpack if, I've, if I'm still in the middle of a walk. Inhale and jump blasting from the speakers. Yeah! Might as well jump. Let's go take this sample. Don't need to be a scientist to break off a piece of a rock. Important science question. What does the rock taste like? Well, despite some licorice-based rumors to the contrary, clearly this is ice cream. Everyone knows. You can jump the backpack but not walk the jetpack. Yeah, okay. Slow, 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 slow. Slow down, buddy. Whoa. All right. Look at this green rock. Very minty. You know, it's funny. There's like so much sort of like bump mapping, normal mapping on this rock compared to the rest of the surface. You can tell this was a later addition to the game. Uh... Wait, is this not... How do you take a rock sample? I mean, it's not... There's surface sample, but there's, like, take rock. Is this not a rock? Does this not count as a rock the same way? Not, it's not one of the ones I can sample. All right, let's try that one over there. It's Rocky Road. <laughs> do you want a rock? Big rock for robo arm? Hmm. Really something, a rock for something else? Dun, dun, dun. Big ones are for rover samples, okay. Oh, hold on. Is this the little rock for our Kerbals? These are all still new to me, so. I guess they're just picking up the whole rock, is the idea, not breaking off a sample. Pick up green sandstone. Wait, are there different types of rocks? Oh! Let's 
going to be really hard to convince folks back home these aren't mint flavored sugar cookies. Turn it to have it analyzed and gain all the information about it. It's clearly in mint condition. Ah. Oh. I guess I didn't actually take off before I hit forward. We're going to ignore that one. So I wonder if we can hit another biome here. And the answer is probably yes. And still have fuel to return home. The question is if it's worth the risk. Uh, slow down. Try not to knock over the rocket. It's amazing how fast these little backpacks get. All right. All right, boarding. Now we're gonna EVA with the scientist to reset the experiments. Can probably do the goo from here. Yeah, collect, restore. Yeah, but not. Not that. Although we do have a second one, so it's not quite as critical. We can just do the, them both a little bit later. Do we need to plant another flag? Do we get XP for planting flags? So this is Zixi plant a flag, flag here. I don't know if it matters, but we'll try. We'll just plant a little flag here. What is... Oh, that's the other, the old flag, right. Oops. Lowlands. Bye. It's 420. Shouldn't we have gone to the high lands? Just saying. Seems fair. It's whiskey it's and whiskey chocolate. I think this is going to be a duplicate uh, soil sample, but it's whiskey and chocolate. Hey, why me? They told me I'd never be good at poetry because I'm dyslexic, but so far I've made three jugs and a vase and they're really lovely. <laughs> and remember my bribe for a ship. Well, maybe you'll be the base. That's <laughs> but <laughs> that's funny. I feel like I've heard that one before, but forgot about it. Cause I was expecting like a, a really wonky haiku. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, so I'll take the data and when I board, it'll probably tell me about a duplicate. Yeah, okay. All right. Now, I don't have a biome map. Which would be handy if we'd done a scan sat beforehand. So I don't know where the next biome is. Like, if I land on top of this, would this be another biome? We have enough Delta V, we should be able to do another. Well, I mean, we should be able to do tons. Think this plateau here is the Highlands? Well, this plateau. I guess as we fly over it, we'll find out. So we're going to go counter to the rotation, but that should be fine. So we want to go west. <clears throat> so our heading is going to be 270. We'll start by pitching upwards, that's fine. Whoa, that... 90. That was bad.
Okay. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, good thing we're on Minmus, yes. All right. Probably should have just done it manually, but I was doing this to make sure I was actually going west. Because I was worried I'd get confused about what side I'm going on. Yeah, we're going to need... Okay, so we are on a good path to go over this mountain right now. There's no atmosphere to slow us down, so we're going to be okay, and we're just going to wait for the, uh, the biome change marker. Yeah, but I want a physics warp. What's the hotkey for physics warping in this situation? Shift dot? Alt dot? I don't want to F it up and do the wrong thing here. Shift or Alt. Excellent! Getting two answers. Looks like Alt is winning out. There we go. Oh, this is it slopes. Hold on. This is a different biome. Now we're in Midlands. Hold on, it looks like we already signed to the Midlands. That must be where we came on our first visit. Oh yeah, we can see where we've been if we open up the other one over here. Actually, I guess 45 degrees is probably the most efficient way, because we'll be in a pure ballistic kind of vibe. Lowlands. So we're looking for a landing on this plateau, and we're hoping it's Highlands. Yeah, the engine is loud. Do you need me to bring it down a little? Let me, uh... Uh, there's not just a... I guess it's spacecraft. Let's bring down the spacecraft sounds a little bit. There, it's a little quieter. Another rock over here. I don't know if we can get different rocks in different biomes. We'll have to remember that it's there. Sound of the engines is essentially blowing into the mic. Yeah, if we ever make a spaceship game for Kerbal, or for, for Ludum Nair. Oh, a couple more rocks there. Then we'll just have to just, just ASMR breathing into the mic. <clears throat> Come on, give me Highlands. Slopes. Really? Well, let's attempt a landing anyway. Lowlands? How is this Lowlands? a little higher. How is this Lowlands? It's whiskey and chocolate. Hey, Hulko. Hill's Kerbiverse study was utter gibberish. Min Mrs. Pure Mint flavored ice cream. Aha.
gets a little higher over here. It feels really hard to imagine. Try to like over by this ridge here, but I assume you yeah, this whole area is just the one biome. Yeah, we'll probably have to do some scan sat stuff. All right, we're going to um, land here anyway. Just on the off chance we can get something. We don't need a lot of Delta V for the return from Minmus. <laughs> Kerbin logic when climbing. Lowlands, Midlands, Lowlands. Yeah. These Lowlands are higher than the Midlands for some reason. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we'll just get some duplicate studies. I don't think they're duplicates from this trip. And then we'll get the scientists to just go out and reset the experiments. Looks like we can surface sample. Well, these things hadn't been emptied. At least I hadn't reset any of them. Slow down, buddy! Oh my god! I'm gonna bash your head. Collect, restore. What am I gonna learn? Just hover around. Don't even attempt to walk on Minmus. Walking's for losers anyway. Collect. Restore. There's a little pebble over there. Almost hit the solar panel. That's good. Didn't bring the science box. It's awkward to put on, although I could have just clipped it internally, I suppose. In hindsight, I'll bring a science box next time and just clip it. It's more green sandstone. Those are large rocks over there. Something is like hard driving like crazy in the background. The Epic Games Launcher. Okay. Downloading a patch or something? What are you downloading? Does it not actually tell me what it's downloading? It better be a patch for freaking Galactic Civilization 4. Otherwise you have no right doing hard drivey things right now. Grr. Mining Bitcoin in the background. Yeah, they'd be hammering my CPU or GPU, right? Not my hard drive. I don't know. I guess we go home. Tiny Teen is one of... Oh, I want to play that so bad. I don't know when I'll have time. I just got to convince like three of my friends to get it and we can do another multiplayer thing. Gentle. Gentle. Don't knock it over, which would be way too easy to do on Minmus. Grab. Excellent. 
Uh, take forward. Dump duplicates. Okay. All right. Tiny Tina's Wonderland is a, a, a Borderlands game. All righty. Surface, zero, uh, 90. Uh, actually, 90, 90. Uh, we can turn off the lock to roll. That's going to be fine. Execute. Let's go home. All right. All we really need to do is get high enough that we won't clip into any mountains. And mostly, we're going sideways. We'll go sideways with a little bit of elevation. We're actually starting from a fairly high point. It's not too bad. Apoapsis. I think 5k is probably fine, but maybe we'll aim for a 10k apoapsis. Again, mostly burning sideways for efficiency. Make it back, you'll easily be able to return in 20 signs. Yeah! So silly that I forgot here. There we go. You can see the periapsis is climbing as well. Because we're burning so flat. And there we go, there's 10. So now what we want to do, if it'll let me time warp, great. Time warp until we get to basically the apoapsis. I mean, I can get some more duplicates of science experiments, because why not, right? We could even reset it one more time when we're in space, just in case we hit something. Although a bunch of it's still going to be duplicates that's just going to get dumped. Well, they'll get dumped, but we might be able to turn in more than one. I don't know. <laughs> Quick, before it's too late, did anyone forget their keys on Minmus? I left my phone behind! No! Turn around! My favorite ice cream scoop! Alright, three minutes to Apo. Two. One. Whoa, 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 whoa. And orbital prograde. It's going to be a very short burn. Raise the periapsis. There we go. Vaguely circularized. Excellent. Okay. So now we need to go home. So. Make sure we're looking down. There's Earth. It's orbiting this way. So we want to leave going leftwards, which pretty much means we can just burn prograde here. And we'll deorbit in a fairly reasonable fashion. I think that's all right. Go for burn. Prograde. Yep. Excellent. We want to leave Minmus going basically left from this point of view, which is what we're, ha we're doing here. It's effectively deorbiting us relative to Kerbin. There we are. So I could do some more burns here. I'm just going to wait until we change the sphere of influence because it's going to make life a lot easier to figure out. Um, let me go ahead and EVA the scientist one more time, just in case we run into some sizable stuff along the way. So I can reset this stuff. Again, uh, probably they're, it's going to get dumped because of duplicates, but it was worth double checking. Let go. EVA. Oh, this is a bad angle because I'm going to bump my head against the ladder. Or the solar panels. Landing gear can break. That's fine. Collect. Restore. Good. Yeah, you're right. Minmus is slow and and low gravity. There's not much of a of a slingshotty boost effect, but we still wanted to deorbit in the right direction. Restore. Scientists go outside, need some privacy. Yeah, they spent too too much time together. That's the thing. I need my personal space so bad, like. Being part of, of like, a space station mission thing would not work for me. Otherwise, I mean, going to space in general, like, yeah, I'd love to do that. Being around other people for an extended period of time in a small space? Uh, not sure I'm cool with it. All right. It's time warp. There's the highlands. I guess quite far away from the craters is where it would be. Yeah, it looks like we've got all the science from here. Okay. 
So, let's warp to the Sphere of Influence change. Okay. And now, we can effectively consider this to be an Apoapsis. So we're just going to burn Retrograde. See, we've got tons of fuel left over. Periapsis, 20 million, 18 million, 17 million, 16, 15, 14, 13. Ooh. Mooner encounters available. 9 million meters. 8, 7, 6, 5 million meters. 4. Three, two, one, Delta V is fine. Okay, that's if we were just to orbit past Ur uh, Kerbin right now, we'd then meet up with the moon on the other side. 100 kilometers. And it's interesting it didn't change the meters. Maybe because this part is so high. There we go. 27 kilometers. Good re-entry. Oh, this orbit here, I believe, is a mission for us to um, put a uh, satellite in orbit over here. Accepted a few of them just to see. I'll grab the re that material study and then not reset it. Okay. Quick save before big time warp. Snacks and everything should be fine. Um, what's the boot tone for the life support? Do we not get it on this view? No, apparently not. Uh, we still have 91 days worth of food, which is good. We are eight days to our periapsis. So in eight days, we'll be back on Kerbin. Plus or minus. So actually, again, quick save one more time before I time warp because I never trust it. We'll just time warp to relatively close. <laughs> Basically following in. Well, what we're going to do is we still have some Delta V. We're going to burn off some of our re-entry speed before we do this. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, what we could have done is lowered our periapsis to the point where we were still going to be um, outside of the atmosphere. Then lowered the apoapsis to burn off some orbital speed. But, yeah, we'll just do this now. So, the plan, as per always, we're going to do this. Turn on SAS. Mostly burn retrograde with a little bit of... Or, actually... To start off with, yeah, I guess to start off with, it's mostly going to be retrograde with a little bit of radial over here. More radial if I want to keep my periapsis up. And we're just going to spend the rest of our fuel just removing some of our orbital velocity here. So we don't come in quite so hot. Although our heat shield should still be fine. Especially if we do our re-entry quite high. As in, you know, maybe 25 to 30k, as opposed to lower. But I'm just trying to keep this to 25 kilometers in the periapsis marker. Well, we're not re-entering with everything, right? We're going to be we're going to be ditching the um, the lower part. We're only re-entering with the capsule, so we don't have to worry about fuel weight. But it is a good point. It's getting a little harder Oops. keep the number where I am, where I want, which is what happens when it gets uh, a little closer here. Again, I'm targeting about 25k. There we are. Just don't want to run out of fuel while my periapsis is a little out of whack. See periapsis going up a little, so I'm going to move back towards the retrograde marker. Dropping a little again. Fuel's nearly out. There you go. 26k for re-entry. Out of fuel. 
We burned off a fair bit of our orbital velocity here. So re-entry is going to be a little bit more gentle than it would have otherwise been. Nice blue marble over here. Good stuff. Turn off the sass. We're going to keep this current... Oh, look at the moon over there. So nice. Is it F2 to hide the UI? Look at this. Screenshot. Okay. Um, we're going to keep this bottom part on just for the extra solar panels for now. Although we do have those bad boys over there. Just time warp. We're now a million, or a million meters away. Half a million meters away. Lovely. More screenshots. Most important thing in the game. Oh, a little bit of material study over here. Duplicate of what we've already done before, but we can get a scooch more out of this. Might as well, especially if we have to pay back our 20 there that we borrowed. Oh, I can do an EVA report here. Well, by all means. EVA, EVA, take it, reboard. Awesome. A little quick save here. In case we goof up the re-entry. All right, we're under 200k now. Let's go ahead and ditch the bottom layer. Oh, um, I need to grab the science. I forgot about that. Ooh, this is risky. Collect that, we don't have to restore it anymore. Not that there's much science in here, which makes this, like, especially crazy. Board. Oh, two of these were the same, maybe. Okay. Uh, surface. Retrograde. And... Uh, I actually should have done it at a different angle. We might run into this on the way in. I actually should have turned radial or something and then detached. That's actually really, really sketchy what's about to happen here. Um, oh, it's dark. Our lights were on and everything. There we go. No, we're fine. That was just weird. Did the camera just bug out and do something strange? Entry dodge him cars. Yeah, if there's too much drag on this, it'll get pulled back into us. Well, what could possibly go wrong? We're in high atmosphere. We have we do have different um, aerodynamic profiles. It does look like we're splitting up our orbit a little bit, which is good. All right, surface retrograde. Yeah, surface retrograde. Keep our ass end into the air is what we want. Yeah, there it goes. Although that is. That is, and I'm right that this thing got slowed down more than us because it's uh, less aerodynamic. Um, that could have been real bad if we were still aligned. There he goes. <laughs> so dangerous! I've never done anything that... No, I've done lots of things dangerous. I've never done that before. That is a, that is a new danger, I guess, is the way to think about it. All right. So right now, if there was all of a sudden there was no more air... Um, we would uh, pop back into space. But we're going to keep slowing down. Ablator rate over here, 1.35 and shrinking. So already things are getting better in terms of wear. There we go. Heat meter went away. All good. All good. Nothing to worry about, everyone. Everything is fine. We're all fine here. How are you? Staging gives a very slight deceleration. Change the angle attack. That's true, too. Right, because the separatrons. Because it separates you with an explosive charge. Do, 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 do. Baking you good inside. How's it going? Yeah! Everything's awesome! Come back with so much science! Boy, I hope the, uh... I hope the Space Center didn't do something, like, unethical to try to get more science while we were away. That would be bad. All right, now finally reaching that initial periapsis point. I mean, now the periapsis is like inside the Earth. All right, looking good. Let's go ahead and time warp some here. I can do another EVA. Quick save. Oh no, we'd be going too fast. 
You get blown off. Triple shoot. Turn off the smart ass. Is this Earth? Ah, uh, right. Kerbin. I don't know. Earth is in ground, maybe? We're going to wait for the full shoot redeploy er, deployment, and then we're going to EVA. Okay, coming on one kilometer. Shoots fully deploy. G forces. That's like 7G. There we go. EVA. EVA report. Grab it. Board. Everything's fine. Wait, where? There we are. I right, like super zoomed this out. All right, let's physics warp down to the ground. Whoo hoo! And if we we're worried about the re-entry, jettison the heat shield, lose a little bit more weight, which should make us a little softer on re-entry over here. 7G does that provide immunity against COVID-21? Ha ha ha! It is always a shame when you land on the dark side. Just not as pretty the night landings. There, I said it. Let's kill the physics warp right before we... Well, Forgot how slow we're going. And gentle, gentle, gentle. Can we surface sample from here? Oh. Taking a sample of the water. EV report. How come it's still a surface sample button? It doesn't make any sense, but there we go. And now we can recover the vessel. Recover the vessel. Recover the vessel. This happens sometimes, because it's like bobbing up and down. And it's not considered stable. There you go. You just have to keep spamming it. <laughs> and eventually it counts as stable enough to be recoverable. Capsule safe, don't need Kerbals anymore. That's true! At some point the Kerbals become very expendable. Mm. Eighteen hundred science earned. I say that was a pretty good trip. Okay, let's um, hang on. Minus, minus. There we go. We paid back our borrowed science. So many flags. Minmus Research X. Yeah, no kidding. We just got tons of it. Low gravity landing. First landing on Minmus. Wait, was this our first on Minmus? Oh, I guess all we done is the moon before. Well, damn. Okay. Wow, so much science. Okay. What about the science interest? Well, unfortunately, I can't spend like smaller amounts or anything. Okay, what are we gonna add in here for a Minmus mission? I mean, maybe we were fine. We can just go as is. Or various liquids. Oh. Oh, these are quite handy. Because we can get circumference changes and store fuel in there. But yeah, life support and science stuff would also be good. Um, like, we could set up some of this recycling stuff. Maybe. Recycling, storage technology. Hydroponics. We actually might be able to have a um, a mission that's actually self-stable. Oh, these are retractable solar panels, which might be handy. Carbon extractor. Well, we're making a ground station. We have a mission for a ground station. I'm tempted to do more electronics here. Vision engineering. There's more, yeah, more antennas. Okay, let's get this. I guess we'll pick up this miniaturization. It's got some little ground experiments we can run. I don't think we need the cooling. Logistics is even more cargo containers, which I don't think we need quite yet. Unmanned tech. Lots oh, of automatic ascent and landing. Uh, support, which could be really handy. 
Scanning tech. I think this is mostly orbital stuff. Oh, this is why I landed on a planet, actually. Okay, so that's some more ground science. Yeah, we're looking for a self-sustaining rover if we can. Field science. Rover autopilot. Bigger, better wheels. Planetary service bay. Been there, done that. Passive active sensors designed to quickly hone in on interesting features located nearby. That is tempting. All right, let's get this. Okay, I'm gonna save the rest of the science in case it turns out we're missing something. Like how analysis of a piece of mint sugar cookie minimus helps you figure out how to engineer things better. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's, we can start, for, not like we did very much the first time. Now, some of these are from mods. Most of them I'm gonna try to use more of the vanilla parts for the lander. I think the command pod, oh right, this was three and then the science module is just two. Oh no, five is enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we do this as a core, It's gonna be need to be on some sort of support, or I just use those other wheels. Yeah, I know in the SPH it might be easier, but I'm also worried about like takeoff here. I guess we can have the whole thing in a in a fairing. It's gonna be a big freaking fairing. Oh wait, I just realized this needs to be. Rotated that way. I guess that works. Not much ground clearance. I don't think there's any retractable wheels. There we are. That looks okay. Now the trick's gonna be doing this a second time. having a match. Actually, I kind of like the wider. There we are. That kind of works. Now, this is going to need a docking port for the mission. I'm thinking of full docking port. Um, which I guess, yeah, we can't have the life support there. Now, for the supplies. Like, we want a big default supply container. Now, by itself, this is going to be enough supplies to last over a year. You can fold the wheels in? I don't see an option for that. Not those wheels. The other wheels can be folded in. Which one's the Rover Max? Maybe we unlock something else later? Because those can't be folded in. The brown ones? Oh. Oh! Now we're fine. 
I don't think I'm going to worry about the self-sustaining technology, actually, even though we've unlocked some of it. I'm going to send this with the one year, and the idea is maybe later what we'll do is we'll have this dock to another thing that has a self-sustaining module on it. I think I like that kind of vibe. Um, so it's going to need some power. We're going to get some... Well, these guys are very large. You know what? With these guys, we can just do... A pair of these smaller ones, just to make sure that even if something goes terribly wacky, we've got some sun. Breaking ground, build your own folding mechanism. That's true, we do have the robot parts, but I don't really have any experience with it. We want like whiskers at the front, some people were saying. I think what I'll do. I'll put them here. We're also going to need a fairly substantial battery. I might do that, and I might just, like, clip it inside or something after we've attached other parts. Yeah, gro a roaming ground base, exactly. So for the mission, hold on, I took a screenshot so I wouldn't forget. Um, all right, we need a new outpost. It has an antenna, docking port, can generate power. It uh, has to be fully assembled and launched. So we don't have an antenna on this yet. Let's get that um, in here. Um, a relay is not going to be required. Diode beamed power laser? I'm not going to configure it before launch. I want to extend this. Or wait, is this just the way it is? Does it not actually extend? Thing is, the small antennas will probably work. Hmm. Oh, that's the one I want. But where do I want it? Hey, thanks for the raid, Mr. Gibbons. Much appreciated. How does this one extend? All right. Something like that. That'll look okay. Well, I kind of want to keep the top free so that we can uh, hop on and off of it without hitting too many dangly things. Although we've already got the solar panels here, honestly. I should probably just center it over here. Someone said, which? Go with the HG-20 one? Yeah, well, I mean, that'll definitely reach. Guess I can have it packed like this. Actually, that, I don't mind this. That'll look decently nice. And then it looks like our little rover has a tail. Okay, I'm fine with that. Um, hang on, where's the mission specs again for this contract? Have facility supporting at least five Kerbals. Check. Three in the front, two over here. Um, then have two pilots on the outpost, maintain stability for 10 seconds, and land it on Minmus. That last part's gonna be the tricky bit. I like what we call this rover the Bella. Oh my god. You're right. Now, what we can do is we can launch the mission with one particular name and then rename it the Bella afterwards. Looks a little like a mouse. That's true, too. So it's got a giant battery. It's going to be able to generate some power. Oh, we don't actually have science experiments on this. That, I think, should change. And we'll probably want the the collecto thing as well. So we got inline bits, but I think we might go radial here. It's quite large, though.
There's the tail. Maybe we'll put the antennas back here. Ready to put them on the... I guess we could do the clipping too, right? Maybe we should just do the clipping thing. Um... Put it there, and then just clip it in. There we are. That looks fairly decent. Now, I think we can collect and reset everything from this. Do we know? Maybe we should check. Let's do a quick little test. Uh, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Um... Why Bella? There we go. Clip it in and connect the wheels to it. Oh, we could. Although I think the wheels are okay right now. Um, I'm gonna save. We'll launch here, so it's gonna launch on its rear end here. That's gonna be okay. Oh, I probably needed to load in a scientist or something. Maybe, I don't know. So yeah, so if I material study, Oh, we do have a scientist. How come... Scientist, transfer to there. Range stock transfers. Initiating. Does it take time to do it? I guess so. Okay, there we go. This is a true crew transfer interrupted. That's weird. Okay, good. You're in there. There we go. So now we could send it in here. That works. Now it says inoperable. Uh, but yeah, then I think I can clean experiments. That was the sound of the transfer, yeah. There we go. That's going to clean out the Science Junior and let us reset that. Okay, great. So now I don't have to worry about actually going and poking at that thing. Next thing I want to make sure is that when uh, our scientists EVA to come out the top. New. No. Now they can enter either one, but they'll EVA out the bottom. Which might be fine. I don't think they really have to EVA very much. They can always EVA out the other bit. Oh, if I click on the EVA port itself, can I force someone to EVA out of a particular one? That might be fine. Okay. It might be smart enough to EVA at the top if the other one is blocked. And worst case scenario, they can EVA out this, because we can transfer between them. So that's going to be fine. Okay, that's very good then. So, I can hide all the science on the bottom. Since we know we can reset all of our experiments from down here. We'll get you, aquatic sampler. Do you need to like click on a note? Okay. TBD. All right, we'll come back to that. Yeah, but I mean, you, you can use atmospheric um, samplers in space to say that, oh yeah, it's a zero. Surrounding atmosphere. Light scanning arm. Oh. Oh, analyzes the geology and composition of rocks and other surface features. Feels like that should be maybe over here. Preview scanning range. Oh, neat. Oh, neat. It is gonna self skip. Okay, so we could actually put it maybe on the top over here. Does it still clip inside? Kind of awkward looking. 
I guess it doesn't actually matter. So we'll just do that. Okay. Dual technique magnetometer. Yeah, this is something you put on something that orbits. We don't need the storage unit. Planetary atmospheres. I don't know. I mean, there's not going to be an atmosphere, but we can pretend. Solar wind. That's probably not for us. Survey scanner is not. Constitution constituents of planetary oceans. I don't think that's for us. Surface water scanning module. Surface of the planet. When used while landed on planet or moon, sample data is gathered used to increase the accuracy of orbital survey scanners. A bunch of these are for orbital science. Oh, I already have the barometer. Low orbit. Yeah, no, these are orbital things. Oh, medium scanning arm. Increase the amount of data. Oh, as opposed to the light scanning arm. All right. Surface scanning module. In soil, atmospheric, oceanic sampling tools can land it on da 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 increase the accuracy. It might be redundant with some things, but I don't know. Okay, a little orbit. Okay. I missed a sub message. That sounds pretty accurate. Actually, yeah. Uh, yeah, we got a few resubs today that I didn't properly cover. My apologies. Let's do that right now. Danji, thank you very much for resubbing for 73 months. Helma, 29 months. Osmanius Rex, 60 month to five year Twitch anniversary. Lucky Dead Set at 28 months. Girly Gebbis, 84 months, a seven year Twitch anniversary. Nulani at 92 months. Yabdad at 75. Lots of long term resubs today, actually. Uh, Chi Sports Guy at 10 months. Mr. Chiel at 18 months, such a lovely number. Augury Defiant, 44 months. Ducci at 41 months. Got distracted by real space things from Augury. Yeah. Oh, Cat Mandos. Oh, I did miss that. There's a one, another. 100 month anniversary, Cat Mandos, 100 months. Sorry, I've been so focused on Kerbal, I'm missing all this great stuff. Please say trans rights at 41 months. The Bard of Blarney at 56 months has uh, pressed a button for 56 months, almost five years, following both YouTube and Twitch. Here's to five more. When are you gonna do EU4 run into Native American culture? I don't know, hopefully, hopefully soon. I gotta get back to EU4. Malkuth at 77 months, Alistair Demon at 67, Cryer at 5 months, Asura at 25 months, Just Wanna Fly at 22 months, who says sub, sub, dual, sub adversary. Nothing better than Kerbal Stream to celebrate. And all puns blazing with the 40 month resub. Thank you very much for that. And yeah, thank you very much, Cat, for the 100 months! God, we're old. It, every time, it's like, this is, this is nuts. We're just gonna. Just for, for cosmetic sakes, we're gonna clip these parts in a little bit. Just because it'll look a little bit better. I mean, I guess it'll it'll improve our center of mass as well. You know, I kind of like the idea of putting these all completely inside. Since I don't have to click on them to activate them, because I can just use X science to do it, we don't have to click on them to collect them. Let's just shove them all the way inside. I mean, it makes sense that they'd be inside the science module, right? I kind of like the look of this, though. I'm going to leave that there. There we go. That works for me. So theoretically, the Y Bella is ready to science the heck out of a planetary surface. We can reset them from the science module in theory, is what we just tested. Hopefully they all work that way. Did you just take the blue science thing? This one here, I think it's for solar wind. Uh, and it's from orbit. So yeah, it's not a, a ground-based thing. 
Yeah, we want to know about the atmosphere inside the, the rover. There you go. Ah, safety lights. Thank you very much for the reminder. Where are we going to put this? Oh. Radial. I don't know. By the nose? I can't, you know what? I want... Um, Four-way symmetry around the nose. And that's what I want. There we go. I like it. <laughs> no spoiler. <laughs> um. So if we take this whole thing. Launch that. Let's make sure it drives properly. Scanning arm may prevent the docking clamp from working later. Mm. With the um, with the 1.11 stuff, with the built-in Kerbal EVA construction thing, can you remove parts? We have an engineer. Then we can add parts. What the heck are we hitting on here? We can't get off of the little launch pad? There we go. Like a turtle on its back. Actually, this does bring up an interesting question. What happens if we get stuck on minutes? Well, I was already thinking of adding RCS for a few different reasons. Um, because on Minmus especially, this is going to be a huge issue. Also, we can use that to land. Because I think RCS is powerful enough to actually make us move around on Minmus. How will you lift off again? We're not lifting this one off. This stays there. <laughs> I'm wondering about doing six wheels on this. Six sets of wheels to drive on any side. Oh, wow. Uh, that's not what I meant. But um, I do think we're going to throw on some RCS in this bad boy, which is what command and control. Six wheels feels more spacey. I mean, that is true. Can't deny that. Actually, let's take this set. Move it all the way back. Oops. Symmetry. You know what, with strong enough reaction wheels, we could also roll over, but the problem is then we definitely snap off our solar panels. Maybe we could we could use the retractable solar panels instead, I don't know. So 
I wonder if that's enough RCS to have control on Minmus. I kind of feel like the answer might be no. Oh, was this one not on symmetry mode? Oh, I'm probably moused over something that resets the, the uh, symmetry mode to whatever we're doing. So these guys are like that. So we have a little bit more vertical control, and then we have these guys for slightly different direction. What need is the mod where we can just teleport this to, to Minmus and test to see if that actually works. Massive amount of RCS fuel. Oh, maybe we can do that with the cheat menu. I don't know. That's a good amount of RCS. Actually, why don't we use this to help with the center of mass issue? Well, it's, I don't know if it's an issue. But yeah, we can have a couple of RCS packs down here, which looks kind of nice. Like emergency water pontoons. Well, we never know when the ice cream might melt. All right, let's get this freaking thing to Minmus. What I think I'm going to do is plan on having a stage that lands it and then hopefully we can detach this with the RCS in some way. Electricity. Um, I mean, it's got a bunch of solar panels and a giant battery in the back here. I mean, maybe not. I guess when this thing is running, it does use a lot of power. We actually might want to have quite a lot of solar panels here. Do we want to switch the retractables? Yeah, you know what? Since we're messing with this anyway, yeah, let's switch the retractable panels. Uh, that way, if we're going to do maneuvers that might risk flipping us over, we can retract these. Let's attach these to an action group. Uh, actions. Custom one. Toggle solar panels. Toggle. Toggle. So I think when I hit the one key on the keyboard, it's going to toggle these in and out. And then this one will toggle the antenna on two. Okay. So, um... this and just so that it doesn't look quite as silly I'm gonna take this battery pack can I change the snapping distance on this there you go. do something like that that'll look a little bit better So this is 1600 meters per second delta V um, in the vacuum, which is probably enough to get us to Minmus and handle the landing. But 
will try to overkill it so it doesn't have to do all that. Oh, you're right, I could have scaled up the battery to make it look better. Meh, this is fine. So we need the skipper, which is atmospheric. Yeah. Was I using the Corgi for a launch at some point? I remember the quad thing. Oh, no, it was a paired thing, I think, with a different size. Because this is clearly not meant to be atmospheric. This one here is. And it gimbals. Oh, yeah, we need to include the fairing. Thank you. Um, which is going to be right over here. This isn't enough th surface level thrust by itself, but... I think what we might plan is without Separatrons. Uh, turn off that. There we go. Uh, the launch, I guess, yeah. Attach them this way. plan this with all three of them going and then we'll have some things sharing fuel into this later on. Because these are connected so I think the fuel is going to be shared with all these, yeah? is a problem. It might be. Yeah, the fairing is really annoying here. Let me re redo it a little, but it's still going to be pretty fucked up. But we can make it a little less fucky. But yeah, it's got to be it's got to be so broad here. The aerodynamics of this thing is going to be incredibly painful. It's looking a little Star trek -y now, which is kind of cool. And then I do this. Now, when the fairing knocks off, I don't know if the debris has collision boxes. I can lower the sides to two. There you go. Now they just go off that way. Maybe it's fine. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. Power ejection force? Maybe. Alright, um, da, 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 okay. That surface level thrust is not too bad. We can start adding in.
surface level thrust is okay. 6,500 meters per second delta V should be more than enough to get to Minmus. Throw some winglets in there. Wow, that, uh, there we go. Symmetry was weird there. Yeah, it's a little bit bulbous. And yeah, then struts. Although what we can do is we can, um, Throw some auto struts in here. There you go. Doesn't the center stage burn out before the side stages? Uh, fuel pipe these things are going to constantly drain their fuel into the center at the same time. I think this might work. I only think it might work. I'm really not sure that it will. But I think it might work. I mean, there's only one way to find out, right? So stage one, everything lights that detaches. And at some point we bop off the side things. And then at some point we'll be popping off the fairing. I hope that was good at the same time. I mean, single center stage. Uh, well, all three of these burn at the same time, and they don't detach. Um, they share fuel, right? Because they're linked together? It's whiskey and chocolate! Yeah, they share. Yeah, it should be fine. Hey, uh, Thanyog, thank you very much. What could possibly go wrong by putting explosive material before below a curable. We could put above the curable, but I don't think it's gonna be quite as good. Okay, I think we might get some new crew for this. I think we're gonna keep, um, well, we only need two pilots, period. And maybe it's the best if we get two fresh pilots. Just in case. So, drafting a pilot, Mendax, and another, uh, Anya Mark, Anya Mark, <laughs> I hope you're, you're set to go. All right, the Y Bella, we require two pilots, and... I think I'm gonna recruit another scientist. I think we will send our scientists up there. So we're gonna send one with experience and one that doesn't. Jay Goppers, congratulations. And I'm not gonna send an engineer at this point because we really don't have the parts to do anything with it. So, yeah, the Y Bella. With two fresh faced, inexperienced pilots, Mendax and Yamark. And then we'll send some scientists so that we can do some sciencey things on there. Although the second scientist won't be assisting with very much. <sighs> All right, let's do it. And yeah, you don't have to hashtag name, just be in chat. Yeah, Mubot is lying, there's no draw. Oh, we need to upgrade the launch pad. Done. Which means I'm gonna have to reset our people again. Yeah, that's right. I can change people's outfits. I don't know. Blue for the scientists? Alright. I like it. So nervous. We could fit a fifth person. We don't need a fifth person. We needed two pilots and the capacity for five. 
We don't actually need five. So this will let us stretch our um, our supplies a little bit. I'm just sending these guys so they can work the science lab. Launch. Like the idea of bringing a red shirt. <laughs> Yeah, Ronalki, we uh, rescued you from space. Why two pilots is required by the mission. So, let's actually bring up the contract view. I don't think I've got like the contract view mod, which is too bad, because it can be a lot more useful to spot it that way. Um, first of all, let me delete all messages. Why does the Twitch viewer thing keep coming up? Like, go away. I, I closed you. Maybe if I do this. There you go. Um... But we've got some wobble on the launch pad here. What am I looking for? Oh, yes, the contract view. There you go. Surface outpost on Minmus. Everything is checked except for landing on Minmus. So this will satisfy the mission. Throttle to full. I can hide this now. Um... We want to min-miss. Theoretically, we could launch at the right inclination, but I don't think we're going to do that. So we're going to be ready to go. 90-90, looking good here. We'll execute a lock on that. <sighs> okay. Could possibly go wrong. Woo-hoo! <laughs> and it's off! This rocket is thick! So thick. So I could even grab the science, but um, and pull it into the uh, science lab later on. Yeah, let's just add all this to the lab. Okay. Uh, oh, we're coming up on gravity turnage. There you go, ten degrees. Oh. It wants to keep flipping. Oh, we got to be careful here. All right. So far, so good. Let's continue to turn. Let's not go too far outside the prograde circle, at least until the atmosphere gets a little thinner, because this thing is, I know, it's surprising to everyone, but it might not be so um, aerodynamically stable. I'm really worried what's going to happen here when we drop our two side pods and therefore have a little less gimbling authority. We're about to find out in a few seconds. All right. I'm actually doing okay on gravity turn. A little steeper than uh, optimal for full fuel thing, but this is the safer profile. Point of view from inside the fairing. There really won't be much to see there. Okay, time to apoapsis, 51 seconds and rising, but rising slowly, which is what we're looking for. Apoapsis slowly rising means we're not going too vertical. Okay, the atmosphere is thinner, so we can be a little bit more aggressive with our turn. Just outside of prograde, it's probably going to be fine now. This is actually going shockingly well. Shockingly well. Apoapsis time just over a minute. We're really looking to flatten out here. I can probably drop the fairing soon. Because there's basically no air, and then we'd rather lose the weight at this point. Let's go ahead and deploy the fairing now. So let's figure out how to deploy a parachute. Hatches are obstructed? How? There we go. Let go. Deploy chute. Swap. EVA. Let go. Deploy chute. Now, are we still in range of the rest over here? Oh no, the science lab has just been destroyed. Our two scientists are just dead. They're gone. Whee! 
So I deployed the shoot, but I'm assuming the atmosphere is too thin right now. Ooh, RCS to stop the spin. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, what kind of path is this Kerbal taking? Holy crap, the Kerbal's still going up? No, no, you're on the way down. Okay. All right, let's follow Mendax. Whee! I can't believe that the only problem with our stupid rocket was the fairing. That's true. All I could have done is wait until we were in space. Well, no, because deploying the fairing... It might have been the actual fairing going out that hit things, regardless. So it might be that even if we waited until we were inside the orbit, it might still have been a problem. Disarm. Yeah, the chute is armed. The problem is... Oh, the speed's going... Wow! The air resistance of a Kerbal is pretty impressive! Yeah, we hit the side boosters. So, unfortunately, we lost our skilled scientist. Damn, that's sad. Whee! I wonder if we get a cool ribbon from this. You know what? We're lower the visor. It's like the, um... Uh, it's like the peril-sensing sunglasses from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So, when, when is the parachute deploying? Um... I'm sorry. Do the Kerbals have so much air resistance that they can actually land from orbit and be fine? Yeah, we could plan on detaching the side boosters. That's true. You know what? That's probably the thing to do. Um, the middle rocket doesn't have much thrust to weight, but at that point, we're basically going to be orbital anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. Dangerous EVA. Mach 1 ribbon. Okay. Where's our other Kerbal? In flight. Maybe the four times time warp or the RCS? I don't know. Parachute is working. Wait, are you below the water? Yeah, I think the physics sim uh, was broken. On your mark is actually underwater. <laughs> but it's okay, you're floating up to the surface. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah, don't take the fairing off now. That would be bad. Well, I'm assuming below the surface of the water. I think it's because, I think, like, their simulation was so slow that when they weren't being physics simulated, they were going slow enough that they weren't going to die on impact, but then they kept going through the water. Weird. Should we get rid of the chute? Does it matter at this point? I don't think more ejection force for the thrusters. The problem is, I think they were hitting, they're hitting the side pods regardless of, you know, even no atmosphere, no thrust, no anything. If there's a chance they would still hit it. I would set the fairing to two, but I think they sort of still splay out. I mean, it's possible that everything else would have stopped it, but no, nope, there's still some part, some debris coming down. All right, get to the surface already. I want to rescue you. At least our pilots can go again, but no scientists this time. There we go. Coming up to the surface now. 70, 60, 50, 40, 30. That was incredible. I've never done this with Kerbals. This is great. There we are. Recover. Yeah, one kilometer below. It's amazing you didn't get crushed by the pressure. It's like that uh, Futurama line, right? Like, this is a spaceship. How many atmospheres worth of pressure, it, or yet how many atmospheres worth of pressure can the ship handle, Professor? Well, this is a spaceship, so I'd say anywhere between zero and one. Okay. 
So we've just accepted that loss. <laughs> we can send reinforcement scientists after doing it, we do an, um, an experience mission for them. Because sending some a, a couple of zero experience scientists isn't going to do much over here. So, what I'm going to do... Yeah, hang on. Actually, you can get back. But you do weird things. Do this. Do that. We will plan for a decoupler. And then you know, we'll just have these things removed before we go. We'll do sort of more classic sort of asparagus staging here with these things. Um, you'll have a fuel flow to the middle. Which means the central stage isn't going to be useful while we're still in the atmosphere, but by the time it's going solo, we should be in space, and it's just going to be circularization, and that's going to be fine. Um, yeah, auto strut to the root part, just to make sure that's still working. And here you had the auto strut to the heaviest, or no, it was disabled. There we go, do that, that's fine. Um, move this decoupler up here, that's going to be okay. Boom, 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 boom. You go, then you go. So we have even more delta V than before as well. So this stage here doesn't have much thrust, but again, it's going to be circularization. I should have just done this in the first place. All right. <laughs> Lack of safety lights during the fairing stage. Yep. So, um, listen, we're, we've, we've got a couple of pilots who have some experience with this now. Mendax and on your mark, you're going to have a take two on this one. It's going to be fine. I think the staging's good. All right. Let's go again. This time for sure. Probably. <clears throat> Rip Mendax and on your mark. I mean, they proved they could survive in one time. No, no, I don't want to bring the scientists this time. We're just going to bring the two pilots to complete the mission. What we're going to do is we're going to make um, an experience bus, which I've done before. We're going to fill a ship full of Kerbals. On They're going to do a flyby of, like, the moon. And then they're going to leave the sphere of influence of Kerbin. Um, and then they're going to come back. And that should level all of them up to level two. Um, and we'll we'll make a bunch of scientists and engineers, so there'll be a bunch of level two Kerbals, and then we're going to send a mission to rendezvous with our um, with our little lander. And what we can do is even bring the uh, the pilots home and just leave two scientists behind to do some science work, and that would be okay. So yeah, we'll look into doing something kind of like that. At a world's first milestone, ocean depth record <laughs> broken. Hey, well, that's right, we can build um, submarines. Yeah. All right, surface mode. Good. Lock that in. Throttle to full. Boom. Everything was, I was shocked at how well everything was going until it wasn't. I wonder, it's not, it's not because we kind of clipped some parts together over here, is it? That would be disappointing. Submarines, the anti-spacecraft. Yeah, the side coupler order seems fine. If we screwed it up, the Delta V wouldn't have gone up either, so that's like another way to double check it. All right. Slowly rolling to 10 degrees. Good, we'll give it a chance to stabilize, let the prograde marker catch up. Make sure everything's good. All right. Slow and keeping within the prograde marker. Might be going a little bit more vertical than last time, but that's okay. Actually, we're kind of all right. We'll probably slow this down. Yeah, so the profile's feeling pretty good. Yeah, I think it's a little steeper than last time. Oh, and drop. Roll. Coming up in 15k. We're just shy of 45 degrees. That's actually looking pretty good. Time to apoapsis is looking pretty good. Yeah, all right. All indications are nominal. Our pilots are uh, a little bit worried about what happened last time. But, you know, second time's the charm, right? Okay, time to apoapsis is over a minute now. 
We're over 30k, atmosphere is thinning out. We can accelerate the turn to horizontal. Just outside the prograde. Forty K. And we are horizontal. Time to apoapsis, one twenty and climbing, one minute twenty and climbing. Apoapsis sixty five K. Fuel in the tanks here looking pretty good. Our side pods here will definitely carry us to space, or at least push us to an apoapsis above 70k is what I meant. We might end up staging them off before we actually get to space, but that's fine. I'm gonna aim for an apoapsis about 100k. And stage. There we go. This is just going to keep pushing us and circularizing somewhat. If we take a look at our path here, nice and flat, that's what we want to see. Very efficient. Um, just do exclamation mark mods. Um, not mine, not mini. And there's 100k. We still have most of a fuel tank here for circularization, which is going to be more than enough. As a reminder, the next stage in here is actually designed to have enough fuel to get us to Minmus. But in fact, we'll be able to use this to get us a bunch there. So we've got an excess ready to go. And space is coming up now. Now. Now, there we go. We're in space. So the big question is, does the fairing deploy kill us this time? Holy shit. Okay, we got knocked around in kind of an unexpected way here. Let's turn on RCS and try to... Uh, Wow, that was shocking. I mean, I know our center of mass is a little bit off, but what the heck? Did we lose some tires? We had some clipping problems. All right, that's fine. We're going to continue with the mission anyway. Dang. It's weird that only part of the wheels, only these two... But yeah, uh, maybe I need to make the fairing a little bit bigger. Yeah, an engineer to fix it. That's okay. That's what the follow-up mission is going to be. Two scientists and an engineer on the follow-up mission. It's going to be fine. Okay. Um, I mean, our power, our battery situation should be fine. But let's hit one, deploy solar panels. Hit two, deploy the antenna. Looking good. Circularization is going to be a fairly short burn. I'll probably use the uh, maneuver planner here just to save us some time. Create node and execute. <clears throat> I think that allows for a reload to before the catastrophic failure where we lost all the scientists. Pfft, nope. Nope. Bring a spare tire. I think an engineer might just be able to remove it or to repair it. I don't know if they need sparks or we just bring, we pack more wheels, remove these and add the new ones on. Maybe that'll be fine. I like how the wheel's spinning here. I was like, just hit the brakes. There you go. It was just looking weird. Next time, don't use the super softs. <laughs> yeah, we'll need to do a pit stop here. All right, coming up on the node. I'm going to turn on the RCS just because our center of mass might be a little wonky. And it might need that to help stay stable. Although it looks okay. Because we don't have a very strong reaction wheel here. Weird textures with the smoke here. Whoop, camera angle change. That, that's what happens when we go orbital. <laughs> I would have been a much better pilot. <laughs> First pit stop on Mimis, F1 record. Okay. So, Mimis encounter is really easy. We've done it a few times, including in this run. Let's go ahead and just say we're just going to set a target to Mimis here. And we're going to plan a home and transfer. Oh, did I call it a home and transfer? Oh, there it is. Buy impulsive home and transfer to target. Uh, there we go. Create and execute. Excellent. 
and play F1 Manager this summer? Oh yeah, for sure. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be a thousand meter per second burn. We have enough Delta V in this stage to do it. So we will do our Transminmus injection burn with this stage. Again, wicked overkill on Delta V, which we knew, and we're fine. There's enough Delta V in this. We can land this, take off from Minmus, and come back home. Of course, that's not our goal. Although I suppose we could technically. <laughs> All right, so just time warping. Where's the planet? Oh, down over there to get us to the right place. Yeah, it already did the uh, inclination correction burn, I think. Could land on the moon with this. That is true, too. And in fact, we have a mission, the exact same mission, to do on the moon. So the min miss is the test. Um, the only thing with the moon is, that's going to be a little trickier is flopping us over onto our wheels. But we're doing min miss first because the landing's so much easier. And then the idea is going to be to send effective this exact same mission to the moon. Could land this on min miss, do science there, fly over to the moon for fun. Actually... It might technically be possible to complete both missions. Oh, one of the requirements for the moon might be incomplete. Oh, maybe maybe there were slightly different requirements. This is career mode, yeah. So we have a contract to land this. I want a mobile base on Minmus, so we can roam from biome to biome and do science with this, although we're gonna have to send another mission uh, once we train up some scientists to do that. This is like set up to be ready to go, but otherwise is kind of like the minimum required for the mission. Oh, Moon needed 11 people. Wow. Okay, that's a serious base. And an engineer. Hey, yeah, we got to send an engineer. Two scientists and an engineer to do a little bit of transfer. We can still do this job. This, this contract should be okay. Okay. It's going to time warp here. Yeah, we're definitely intersecting. That's looking good. the actual, uh, if I focus here, periapsis, looking very nice. Okay, good, um, quick save. Time warp to just before the transfer. No, pilots can't use the science lab, no. Okay, looking good. I'm just going to keep doing the warp here through the transfer, which will automatically drop our speed to 50 times. It's easy to time warp through this. Interpret this as the time warp stopping and then being concerned as to why none of the controls work. Okay, let's go and uh, we'll just call this a circularization. We need to do this at the next periapsis. Great, and execute. And we'll 200 meters. We actually have enough in this stage here to do the circularization. So we'll do that. And then we'll probably go and stage. Because I don't really want to land with this part. Although I suppose I could deorbit with the fuel that's left in this part. Yeah, the solar panel mohawk looks pretty cool. Basically, we made like a some sort of bug here, right? A bug buggy. Periapsis is at 10k. Actually, it's at 15k, which is fine for Minmus. There's lots of news on Kerbal, too. I don't know if there's a release date, but... Looks hedgehoggy. A little bit, yeah! And yeah, we lost two of our wheels, like, our, our, our tires, actually, when the uh, fairing popped, but hopefully we'll be okay. All right. <clears throat> now... One of the things we could have done, actually, is gone into a bit of a polar orbit so that we'd have a different selection of biomes. But I think landing here was the highlands. I think this area was highlands. So we're going to try to land over here. Last time... Was this the flat we were on? Maybe. I don't know. Now, we'll go ahead and quick save. We're going to time warp to around here. Oh! Oh! I'm in a counterclockwise orbit. 
I guess it's fine. Technically, that'll cost a little bit more Delta V. I didn't notice that. I would have uh, tweaked our... Um, after we did our burn from Kerbin to the moon, to Minmus, I would have tweaked it a little bit to be on the other side, but that's okay. So, we're going to go surface, negative velocity. I'm going to turn off the RCS. Just to save some RCS fuel, although I don't think we're having too much of a hardship. Yeah, the reaction wheels are doing okay. So, we're going to go and try to land somewhere over here. Get a little closer. Alright, I think this is fine. So what I'm going to do is kill my horizontal velocity. Stage, and let this, this thing fall into Minmus and get killed by impact. This is surface velocity negative. Basically, this is retrograde relative to the surface. And this is just horizontal, so this is just um, on the horizon to kill all of our horizontal speed. Which we could do manually, but it's less finicky to just hit the button. So yeah, we're just burning hor horizontally to get rid of... Oh, I don't have... Hold on. I don't have the surface info up here to confirm the horizontal speed. So we're just going to bring the horizontal speed down to zero. Or close, actually. This is going to shift a little as we do things. There we go. Basically, we're coming straightish down. All right, time to stage. Oh, that was the fairing. But yeah, if we go to the map view, there we go. <clears throat> so, I'm actually worried that this might not accelerate enough to explode. I think it will from this height. It should crash. This is kind of a magnificent sight, though, here. I like this. Slow decoupling is always so sexy. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be an RCS landing. Oh, though, I didn't actually give us landing gear now that I realize it. I, you know what? We probably can do an RCS landing. We can use this for the thrust to kill most of it. Shit, yeah. Because I have the decoupler, but we're going to try an RCS landing. Oh, we lost the tire with the fairing decoupling, which is a bit annoying. All right. So we're going to face upwards here. Confirm that engine is lit, and it is. Good. Um, how's the horizontal speed? Okay, good. Actually, what I'll do is I'll switch to surface mode. Yeah, okay. So 90 degrees pitch is straight up. We'll use it to kill the speed, and then if I go to zero pitch, then our RCS will be able to maintain us. Although then I'd have to I'm gonna have to fiddle with the RCS controls in a way I'm not really comfortable with. So we need to change the direction of control. Oops. Hmm. Yeah, good call. Let's retract our stuff in case we land on the wrong side here. There you go. There's their other stage just crashed into Minmus. That's our horizontal speed. Oh, a little high. There we go. Surface. Execute. Okay. We're going to be ready to flop over in a second here. Oh. 
I didn't set the uh, the roll properly here. There you go. If I'd set the roll properly, then uh, we would have landed correctly the first time. Deploy everything. Oh, we're a little uh, we're a little back heavy here. Contract complete. Rocket car! Turn off the brakes. Yeah, we can sort of drive around. But not really. IJK? Let's go forward and backwards. H. N. There we go. Now we can still stage and just drop the engine in the back here. So that we can actually roam around. Without this weight. But there's not much point, I suppose, to do it. Until we fix the wheels. Need more angle in the front wing. I wonder if a pilot goes in the back, if I can transfer the science. I sent an your mark back there. Because at this point, if we just light the rocket, we can take off right now. It'll be a little awkward, but it'll work. No, okay. Now I can just keep these. I can run them and keep them. But I won't bother, I think, until we... Uh... Oh yeah, it has the instant level up crew. I forgot about that. Um, transfer it to the front. But yeah, I won't bother until um, we actually have a scientist over here. So right now they're just going to be parked. Target. Yeah, I don't know if I can change the EVA thing. But yeah, right now they're good. Oh, can we EVA? Yeah. See, it says that because I think it wants to. I think it wants to go out to the bottom hatch by default for some reason. But if I bring up the transfer crew from here, then I can EVA them. It was the same thing we were getting earlier. The EVA definitely works. You know what we didn't do? We didn't turn on the lights, you guys. Should have done that before the landing. There we are. How long can they survive? That these two can last here for three years. All right. And there's a lot of science. Some of this could be broadcast, but it w we'll get so much more science if we um, if we get scientists in here and do that. So what I might do, um, we gotta wrap up the stream here. As a reminder, next week, our schedule's shifting a little bit. It's gonna be Kerbal Moon Days. Kerbal's taking over on Monday, and next Wednesday is going to be Galactic Civilization IV, uh, which comes out next week. So Kerbal next week is on Monday. Wednesday's get Galsiv. This Saturday is gonna be more RimWorld. So we're gonna wrap it up now, because we've exceeded our time. Um, what I might do is I might do the experience point bus on my own. Just a little mission loaded with a bunch of Kerbals just to get a bunch of people up to like at least um, two, level two experience. Um, and then we might plan to uh, to do a little rendezvous over here to load some experienced scientists into the air and then maybe get an engineer to fix these wheels at the same time. So we'll see. Yeah, don't forget next stream you have Kerbins on Min -Miss. Thanks a lot. Oh yeah, and we got Formula One this weekend. Monza, baby. Uh, let's go and raid a Kiss for Lux channel. Uh, if she's playing uh, Fallout, which wouldn't surprise me. Either that or uh, Minecraft. Oh, she's not streaming. Oh, uh, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, Imola. Not Monza. Thank you. All right. Going to wrap it up. I'll see you guys on Saturday for RimWorld. Bye, everyone.